Hey beer tubers, Ryan, back with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Thanks for joining me once again. Today we're going to look at a beer from Russian River, and this is their other IPA that they bottle up on a regular year-round basis, and that is Blind Pig. This is just a uh, regular IPA. Uh, it's 6.1% ABV, so it's on the low side for an IPA, but um, Blind Pig, I'll show that logo against once again. That was the name of the first brewery that... Vinny started at, before moving up north to start Russian River. So, um, Vinny's actually a San Diego guy, grew up around here, did the Quaff Home Brewers, then eventually started the brewery up in Temecula, which is just north of San Diego, not in this county. But um, I want to review this one because this was bottled on July 18th, and I am reviewing this on July 28th. So, this beer is only 10, 10 days old in the bottle. And uh, I haven't seen Blind Pig this fresh in a while, so I figured I'd pick up the bottle and uh, get a review of it. Pours a very clear, kind of uh, golden color. Doesn't quite go orange, definitely on the gold side. I know Vinny doesn't like to use a lot of dark malts in his IPAs, keeps it pretty light. Got about two fingers of uh, bright white head on it. Um, some moderate carbonation coming up. Let's get the nose on it. Yeah, you can tell this is definitely fresh. Mm, fantastic nose. Uh, it's big on grapefruit, be it like uh, not the not too bitter. There's definitely some bitter grapefruit in there, sort of resiny character in the background, but then there's also a lot of sweet orange on the nose. Um, kind of has that amarillo esque kind of oranginess to it. And then maybe like some grapefruit. Uh, not quite as complex as, as Pliny the Elder is, but really nice, you know, hot forward smelling beer. Can't smell any malt in it at all. So uh, let's dig in, cheers. Oh yeah, that's nice. It's it's very, very light at 6%. Um, it's still like very, very light tasting. Um, good amount of hop flavor in there, not overly bitter. This isn't a, a bitter hop bomb. Um, there's a lot of hops in there, but they're mostly like late edition hops. Um, nice dry finish on the end. But I would say the mouthfeel is pretty medium light. Sort of quick on the palate in that sense. Up front you get more sort of uh, resiny uh, bitter grapefruit notes. And then it kind of falls with some like sweeter orange notes. It kind of falls in the nose, but up front it's a little more... Um, Resiny doesn't quite go piney. He might be using some Simcoe in there, which kind of lends to be kind of piney or bitter grapefruit. So there might be some of that in there. Um, probably something like Amarillo, maybe even Centennial, which can kind of, or I mean, it, it kind of tastes like Columbus in the sense it's kind of got that citrusy, uh, resinous kind of character to it, but. Um, it's not overwhelming, like Columbus can be very, very potent. So maybe he's using sparingly. I don't know. It's hard to tell how the hot bill is compared to playing the other, which that recipe's out there if you're a home brewer. Yeah, probably just using US 05 or, you know, White Labs 01 or Y East, uh, was it 1056, American L East, because it's so very clean. It kind of reminds you almost like a lager because there's so very little yeast esters in this beer and at the back end the malt that you do gets like really kind of just bready real breadiness um, doesn't quite go toasty not too toasty but just um, real kind of biscuity breadiness on the back end just real drying so um, yeah so it's not my favorite IPA um, and I'm drinking it 10 days old so I mean it doesn't get a whole lot better than this um, but I'm going to go B plus because 
you know, it's it's a really well brewed beer. It just doesn't quite wow me like an A IPA should. Um, there's definitely better IPAs uh, in California than this one, um, but I think it does get credit because it is it is an older IPA recipe. I, I, assuming he's brewing the same version he did back when he was at Blind Pig Brewery, uh, could be wrong, but. So it's, um, it does have some s historic significance in the beer world, but I think there's some better IPAs that have surpassed it, at least, you know, single IPAs. Uh, that's why I don't buy it as much, because this is actually the same price as Plain the Elder. So once again, that's Blind Pig from Russian River up there in Santa Rosa, north of the Bay Area, up in wine country. Going to give it a B plus today. Um, really solid, above average beer. Just doesn't quite go into the excellent category, but... Um, really nice, easy to drink, sessionable IPA. When you get like the hoppy Russian River beers, make sure you read all the the label and everything. There's always some interesting info and, and funny things. I'm not going to read it to you. You'll have to get a bottle yourself. So uh, that's going to do it for today. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.